My name is Rebecca Camisa, and I received a 2006 Fulbright for filmmaking um, in Mexico. I received a 2006 Fulbright Fellowship in Filmmaking to make the documentary film Which Way Home. And Which Way Home is a documentary about unaccompanied child migrants who are trying to make their way through Mexico to get to the United States. So the subjects of the film are from 14 years and younger, and they're from Central American countries as well as Mexico. Um, I wanted to make this film because I felt that there really wasn't an in-depth document about what migrants go through to try and get to the United States. So for me as a filmmaker, the important thing is to show the public something they haven't seen before or inform the public about a, an important issue. So I very passionately went about trying to make this film and in the process applied for Fulbright. Um, I thought I wouldn't get the Fulbright, um, but I applied anyway and got it and the Fulbright ended up being an extremely important part of getting this film made. Firstly, when I got the Fulbright, I, prior to getting it, had tried for several years to get a visa to go to Mexico to do this, this film. And this film was going to take months to do. So I really needed some documentation for myself that I was, I was allowed to be in the country for that purpose, to film, a, to make a film about migrants. Um, because it's a sensitive issue, that visa was really important. I was unsuccessful in, in getting one, but once I received the Fulbright, within a month, I received that visa. So that visa was extremely important in being able to function um, on the ground. Number two, when you have a Fulbright and you're working on a project, it lends incredible credibility to what it is you're trying to accomplish. So once we had a letter from Comexis stating that I was there on a grant and on a Fulbright, that opened doors. Um, bureaucracies or government agencies that may have been afraid or may have said no to other press outlets instead saw that I was there on a Fulbright trying to make a film. And they agreed. So that support from Fulbright, I think, opened doors in getting permissions and accesses from other agencies and organizations. And perhaps if I didn't have that Fulbright letter or that backing, they may have not been so open to doing the project. Thirdly, you know, when you're, make, when you're a filmmaker and you're making a rather low budget film, another important issue is how, what budget can I film on and how will I sustain myself there while making the film? And the Fulbright stipend enabled, it paid my living expenses, it paid my director's expenses, my food, my just being able to be there and be sustained. So the, the stipend was extremely important. Once my expenses were covered, that enabled me to use money that was raised for other purposes, for paying crew, for paying for travel expenses. So, I mean, the Fulbright was extremely important to getting this film made. I'm not sure it would have gotten made without Fulbright.
el otro señor me entregó a la señora. O sea, es decir, que te abandonaron. Te dejaron solo. Porque la señora se fue. Cuando nos agarraron, ella se fue. Y solo a ti te agarraron. Yo dejé una niña de un año. La llegué a ver hasta que tenía 13 años. Entonces cuando tuve esa reunión no sentí nada. No sentía yo que eran mis hijos. Como que el amor se pierde. Ya nosotros las, las mujeres que dejamos a nuestros hijos y venimos a luchar por ellos, ya no recuperamos el amor de ellos. Es el pago que, que pagamos por estar en este país. ¿Y usted sigue pensando que vale la pena? Eh, no. Se pierde el amor de la familia. When making Which Way Home, there were a lot of challenges and obstacles. Um, and there were times when I was concerned about being able to accomplish what I set out to do. And I would, whenever I had a concern or a fear, I'd call Comexis um, and meet with them. And they were incredibly supportive. They would do things to help in any way they could. And that support in the field means everything. Um, I would highly suggest this to any filmmaker. I already have. I've suggested um, to filmmakers that have talked to me about projects they're trying to get funding for. I immediately say to them, you should apply for a Fulbright. You know, if you're traveling to Nigeria or if you're traveling to the Czech Republic or if you're going, you know, to Latin America, see if there's a Fulbright that's being offered for what you're trying to do and apply for it because it's an incredible experience, not only just making the film and having the support to make the film, but also just the social support. It, it just made life so much easier for me, and I know for other filmmakers it will do that as well. And so every filmmaker I talk to, and I know they're doing a project overseas, I always tell them, go to the website, see if there's a Fulbright grant being given for that country, and apply. You know, other than Fulbright as an apparatus or as a structure or an organization to help you with your project. I, you know, I literally, before I came to this interview, two of my friends that were Fulbrighters that I met that have since got married just visited town. I just left them. I mean, the relationships I made um, in Mexico with fellow Ful Fulbrighters was fantastic. Um, they're still very dear friends, and that's I love that. Um, that means a lot to me. So not only is it just an issue of money and a visa, it's also those social connections, those personal friendships you make that end up benefiting your project as well as benefiting your life beyond, um, beyond the Fulbright um, grant. I think that, you know, the Fulbright is a brilliantly created program. Um, I think it's amazing. And I'm proud to be a Fulbrighter. I really am. Um, I would urge filmmakers very much so to apply for a Fulbright. When I applied for the Fulbright, I thought I would never get it. I thought there's no way I would get supported um, for a topic that was so controversial. But yet I did it anyway. I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it. Why not? The Fulbright was exactly the grant that I needed because of what it provided for the film. So just because you may think, you know, I'm not an academian or they may not be open to the project I'm submitting, it may be too controversial. I wouldn't go into it with that mindset. I would just ha say, I have a passion to tell this film, it's a possibility to make it happen, and I would just go for it. And like I said, I really thought I would never get the Fulbright, and I did. So I highly recommend it.